Greetings, everybody. How's everybody doing out there? Well, I want to take a few minutes. Seeing everybody out there in you, uh, Lawn Nation doing cold starts on their equipment. By the way, this is Gorilla. Gorilla Lawn Care. You check me out over on Instagram, too. jpena 12 gorilla uh fitness but anyway man it's been cold 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 out here in in uh where i'm at in texas in josephine anyhow man we've been without power for almost uh well we was that we was i will say we was without power for three and a half days it did come on for a good hour and we uh made hot coffee and cooked up some stuff and so like that, I did have to throw out some stuff out of my fridge and inside the house because it was just off for way too long. And then I just started putting stuff in baskets outside, and uh, it seemed to stay really, really cold out there, which was I'm thankful for that. But then, of course, we got this these blackouts there uh, we're having out here with no electricity and stuff like that. Pretty much the whole neighborhood and where I live at, and I'm sure across uh, other parts of the state. Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth, you know, places like that. Anyway, we're good. We're surviving. The heat is on, but we're keeping it. We're keeping it low. We're keeping it at 61 to conserve energy, so we don't have any more blackouts. Supposedly, the other neighborhoods are supposed to be doing it too, and uh, I guess across the across the state, I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, yeah, man, I've been off all week actually go in tomorrow we're gonna to go in tomorrow and we're gonna start buses and uh we'll do that until we're done then i think boss said going once we're done with all that then we come home which is weird i like to work my eight hours but i'm still gonna get paid regardless anyway thank god but anyway man i've been noticing footprints in my yard man check it out all this snow we still got up here. Look at here. See that? How deep that is? But anyway, there's some footprints over here. Somebody's been, uh, what's going on here, man? Footprints right there. Can't really figure out why there's footprints there and there's footprints going that way. But, uh, we're still pretty much snowed in man i'm gonna get up in the morning leave an hour early go to work I'm supposed to be there at seven but we got a lot a lot of snow guys and we're not used to that some of you guys are but anyhow i just want to uh just hope everybody's doing good and uh staying safe and staying warm man there's still a lot of people without power I feel bad for those people man i just I'm very lucky, very blessed. I don't even like the word luck, man. I just, the word blessed is better for me. But anyhow, there it is, man. It's my neighborhood. That way, and then that way, if you guys can see. But uh, I come out here to crank up the cars, gonna run a little bit, make sure when I get up in the morning, I won't have no problems. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna give, this, this is not a, uh, uh trailer setup i'm gonna do one later when it warms up a 2021 trailer setup for gorilla lawn care uh one of these days i'll tell you how i got that name anyway uh it's just, it's just stuck everybody everybody just called me gorilla and then from there again it just it's always been like that but anyway here is a uh my new uh echo srm 225 show it to you guys it's not a whole it's not a commercial it's a homeowner but it does the job i like them i like they got for me they got enough power for what i do but anyway i'm fixing to do a cold start if you guys can see i have not started this thing in probably two or three weeks uh but it's been cold out here in the garage it's probably been in the 20s in the garage because it's not insulated or whatnot but First time I've had the garage door open, man. 
since we've had the uh, cold air. So I'm going to go to cold start. I'm going to try to do the best I can, man. I don't have a tripod. But anyway, uh, I got it on cold start. I'm going to prime it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Now, y'all want to try to. Oh, I got to put on the. Turn on the switch. Make sure that's not sticking. This It's going to be kind of. Uh, I don't know if I can set this thing up somewhere. Maybe I can set it in the shoe. I'm not sure if it'll. Can y'all see that? Yeah, I'm sure you can. But anyway, I'm gonna cold start it. Here we go. One, two. Alright. Two pulls, I say. Or maybe three. Now this is the uh I'm gonna put it on run. So here we go. For whatever reason, I guess this thing this thing flew off, man. I don't know what happened, but it flew off. I gotta tighten it up, I guess. You saw that pull? I choked it, primed it. Yeah, man. Started right up. Now let's check out this uh, edger. The uh, PE-225 stick edger. I love it, man. I get a good, good edge on that shit. All right. Got it on cold start. Got it. Prime it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I do seven, man, because that's God's favorite number. All right. So, I'm going to set you up again over here. Y'all see it? Start it up. Look at that. Take a pull, man. Pretty much. Start it right up. Choke it seven times. God's favorite number seven. Prime it. Just run it. How's that? And that stuff hasn't been started in a couple weeks, man. And it's been cold out here, raining, stuff like that. I'm gonna start my blower now. It's my uh, what is this? What brand is this? It's my Echo PB2520. It looks like handheld. See it? There it is. I'm going to try to start. I'm going to put you guys back over here again. It's cold out here, man. What do you think? You guys just, uh, just start your equipment up when you're not using it on a weekly basis or every other week or what? Y'all guys tell me. Let's see here, man. Okay, I got it. 
switch on. Boom. I'm going to choke it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here we go. Tree squeezer. One of these days I'll get a tripod, man, and figure it out. I don't know, man. I just crank it up my stuff, make sure it runs. Now we're fixing to start the uh, Toro Pro Line 32. See, uh, go ahead, turn the key on, pull the throttle up, choke it, and here we go. Down. I still got to do a tune up on it, change the oil, air filter, and all that, sharpen the blades. So, yeah, man, look at that. Pretty good. Toro, Echo. I'm not taking nothing away from other guys, man. everybody got each their own, man. Whatever you like, man, that's okay. I'm just saying for, my, for me. You saw that, man. Cranked right up on the first pull, man. Well, the first time it kind of was like hard to pull, but but basically on the first pull, we'll try it again, man. Here we go. Anyway, I was bored, so I wanted to come out here and uh, do a cold start on my stuff. I'm not going to do one on the little mowers, man, because i got to pull them out of the trailer. Might do one next time. Uh, I do have a little old 22-inch uh, Toro self-propelled walk-behind, and I got a Honda 21 walk-behind self-propelled. Uh... Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. Man. But anyhow, I got a, a 2021 trailer setup coming. I still got to do some things to my trailer. I got to add some other stuff to it. And then uh, I got to adjust some of the weed eater racks. Because I got another weed eater that uh, I have. I think it's got, uh, I'm going to take it apart and clean the muffler. But I think it's got carbon buildup on there. It seems like it's, it turns on and everything. It runs, but, I mean, it's five years old, too. I mean, I use the hell out of it, and it's still crank cranks today, and it still works. I just got, I think I got carbon buildup on the muffler, so I'm going to take it to work, clean it, clean it up real good, scrape it off or whatever, get it going again, so I don't have to buy me another backup weed eater, man. Because I'm like i a firm believer in having backup equipment. Uh, at least at least if you got a, one mower, always have another mower, and then if you got one weed eater and an edger and a blower, always have, try to have backup, man, if possible. If you can't afford it, you know, not then you just have to do the best you can i guess but anyway man it's cold out here going back to work uh tomorrow like i said earlier 
I don't know how long we're going to work. I got the vehicle cranked up and running and whatnot. So uh, that way in the morning when I wake up, I won't have any problems uh, cranking up. But anyway, this is yeah, this is the first time I started my equipment, man. Uh, as far as the blower, the big mower, and the weed eater and edger, that's the first time in probably, I don't know, the big mower a month, I know. And the uh, edger and weed eater and blower, I, it's probably been two weeks. And it's been sitting in here in the garage in the cold. But, uh, yeah, just wanted to get on here, man, and say hi, and hope everybody's doing good. And I was bored. Man, I, I need to get outside and get some air, man. I just got tired of sitting around in here. Thank God we got heat. Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, remember to subscribe and to like, dislike, comment on something if you want, man. I don't care. It can be negative or it can be, you want to be a smart ass. I don't care. It don't bother me, man. I'm like a duck, dude. This shit just rolls, roll, roll, rolls right off my back, man. But, uh, I uh, hope you liked the video. Comment on it. Tell me what, Tell me if you guys uh, actually start your stuff when you're not running it on a weekly basis or every other week. Or, or if you just come out to start it on a daily basis just to keep it or whatever. But it doesn't matter. Just leave a comment on how you do your things. Uh, I'm going to have to bring the treadmill inside tonight. And I'll probably leave it in for about three or four days. I'm going to put it in my room. Because it's just too cold out here. My, my heater can't keep up with the cold air in the garage. And then, uh, and at least inside, I'll be able to get a good, uh, good little sweat going, man. So, anyway, y'all guys be blessed out there. Be safe out there. Do something nice for somebody, man. Help somebody out if you can. Uh,. Yeah, Gorilla's out, man. I'm, I'm about to go inside. I just wanted to come out here and give you guys a little cold start uh, equipment on my stuff. So Anyway, you guys take care. God bless you. Gorilla's out.